वी आर गोइंग टू रेड द मर्केंटेलिज्म दैट वॉज ए फेज इन यूरोप इन द वेस्टर्न यूरोप अराउंड 1600 हंड्रेड एड ई एंड इट कंटिन्यूड फ्राम सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एडी टू एटीन हंड्रेड एडी इट वॉज एज एन आइडियोलॉजी इट वॉज वेरी पॉपुलर बिकेम वेरी पॉपुलर इन वेस्टर्न यूरोप बिटवीन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन हंड्रेड एक्चुअली इसेंशियली दिस आइडियोलॉजी वॉज रूटेड इन द प्रिंसिपल दैट द कंट्री शुड मेक ह्यूज प्रॉफिट विच द कंट्री शुड मेक ह्यूज प्रॉफिट द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ऑफ द कंट्री वॉज दियर ह्यूज प्रॉफिट वॉट वॉज द मोटिव ह्यूज प्रॉफिट हाउ एनी कंट्री कैन मेक ह्यूज प्रॉफिट इट कैन हैव द प्रोटेक्टिव टैरिफ पॉलिसी नो प्रोटेक्टिव टैरिफ पॉलिसी वॉट इज दिस प्रोटेक्टिव टैरिफ पॉलिसी द प्रोटेक्टिव टैरिफ पॉलिसी वी आर मेनली कंसेंट्रेटिंग ऑन द एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट आज आई आई वॉज टेलिंग यू दैट वेन देर इज प्रोडक्शन ह्यूज प्रोडक्शन मोर दैन द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द पीपल देन द ह्यूज प्रोडक्शन मीन सरप्लस the surplus is generated if surplus is generated the surplus required to be sold in the market market because it is surplus it is not consumed in the in the local market so it has to go to the outside as it is going to the outside it is known as export the government is supporting the export because the surplus should be sold otherwise there will be loss to the state and this export and they will take profit in the export and in this way the profitability will be there at the same time for the import means if anything is coming in the country at that time they have to levy tax so this is known as the protective tariff policy of the state Th- that was the that was the policy at that time so what was the thing at that time trading was made very popular trading no trading i was telling you that in 1600 ad the british east india company came into existence at that time they took they took a charter that for monopolistic trade practices in india that was the british east india company queen elizabeth she, the queen elizabeth was the queen at that time when they have took uh, they have taken this permission for trading with india and after that stuart james one he was the king and stuart james one had given permission for thomas ro to go in the court of sir thomas ro rather sir thomas ro to go in the court of the jahangir in 1617 jahangir wrote back a letter to Stuart James won the king that they are giving the preferential treatment to this uh, British East India Company at that time you are very much aware that in 1498 Vasco da Gama a Portuguese came to India at the bank of Calicut and he was the first who has started business with the Indians and it has been also told to you that the fall of the constantinople and the asia minor constantinople is where just near the black sea and mediterranean sea near turkish this was the constantinople or asia minor which is being told that the the ottoman empire blocked the overland trade routes from europe to indian subcontinent and so there was a widely felt urgency widely felt urgency for exploring new territories that could supply raw material to the upcoming industries no it was the need was felt and especially why they wanted to have trade with india because in indian subcontinent india was known as a spice country which country a spice country because spices were found in that part of the india especially on the malabar coast we have seen the malabar coast the calicut the spices were very much there so the europeans undertaken the sea voyage and that to get the spice first thing to sell their goods second thing and third thing was that to get the raw material raw material that is the cheap raw material from the indian market 
so this way once the european reach this part of the asia rather in india or in some part of the africa by sea they realize that there is need for importance of controlling the markets for obtaining what for obtaining cheap raw material for getting spices from india and for having a market thus colonialization came in practice colonialization means they wanted to have the colony the colony gave rise to the political supremacy and in this way we can say that mercantilism played very vital role most important role in encouraging the establishment of colony and the scramble of colonies because who were the player at that time portuguese i have told you one second one was the french now second one was the holland and after that french they all were very keen for the new market i'm just i am giving you this one chronology in 1600 british east india company came in existence in 1600 to the holland holland and netherland no these two are combinedly known as dutch no dutch so the dutch east india company came in existence dutch east india company dutch east india company on 1602 east india company and 1664 it was the french east india company french east india company if you see the map of the europe then you will find that here this is russia finland estonia latvia poland germany germany and this place is ireland united kingdom denmark france spain portugal in in fact just see here that united kingdom ireland and here is the france spain portugal and this is poland italy germany and these are the places where the european settlements they had come through all the way from this route to come to india the first one was the british east india company after that the people from the holland holland is just near to this one holland then the french people and portugal were the first the vasco de gama who came in india in 1498 see all these people the british people the portuguese the Ho- holland and netherland people the dutch and the french they all came in india in search of what in search of market the, as they all came to india in search of market so there was a competition among them and the competition leads to a rivalry this rivalry was known as trade war trade war in india so you will study about the trade war in india after this one no what was the trade war let us understand the trade war the leading countries that were involved in trade were which they are the portugal the holland france england denmark etc no each one of these established its own trading company to trade with the east the portuguese first one was the portuguese just the portuguese uh, they first uh, the vasco de gama came and taking cue from vasco de gama the portuguese traders reached the malabar coast in south india they came here at the cochin goa daman and dew there were some of the places where they established their settlements you have seen the southern part of india in this way you are finding here the cochin 
Daman and Dew are at this place, Goa are at this place, and the Portuguese conquered Dew, this place, the Dew, just near Gujarat, here, they conquered Dew in 1509, and Goa, this one is Goa, in 1510. At that time, Al Bekarak was the Viceroy of Portugal. Alba spelling you just check it Q U E R Q U E Alba Karak yes Alba Karak yes Alba Karak was the Viceroy of Portugal and shortly afterwards he captured Calicut also Kochi in Calicut which places firstly Dew then Goa then Calicut and this way Portuguese made their presence in India and they captured Calicut besides they established control over Hooghly also Hooghly they have come here also Hooghly Hooghly Chitgaon in the east due to their superior what why they could become so successful the reason was very simple because of their superior armed forces superior especially superior armed ships second thing was that navigational skills they were good in the sea navigational skills they were very good navigators third was the disciplined soldiers trained soldiers disciplined soldiers and they were also having the able administrator like Albuquerque no able administrators these were the factors by which these Europeans became more successful in India and Portuguese were the first to show their this type of skill and they established the good hold on in India uh, initially but subsequently most of the Indian possessions were taken over by the Dutch and the British because you have to understand this in dynamics of the politics uh, at, there at the time in the Europe. In Europe because British were having the supremacy, the Dutch were having the supremacy, so the Portuguese soon lost their control and it was taken over by the Dutch and the British. Now we have to understand about the Dutch. Trading center of the Dutch, like the people hailing from the uh, hailing from this the people from the Holland or Netherlands they set up their trading center firstly at Surat Surat is if you will see the map of India Sri Lanka then Surat is this is Gujarat at this place Surat no the first established at Surat Ahmedabad Broch Nagapatnam Nagapatnam and Mosheli Patnam but their real interest lay in trade with the Indonesian islands. The Dutch were more interested for going to this place, Indonesian islands. And they were engaged in profitable spice trade with countries of the Far East. Here they were finding better avenues for making the spice trade. So, and later on they were defeated by the British who took control of the Indian possession by the middle of the 19th century. The Dutch also went out. Now who remained? The second one was the French. Now we will read regarding the French and the British rivalry in the next class. This is very interesting and it was the mainly the Carnatic War and regarding the series of uh, car wars on the Indian island, India and the especially in the Europe that we will we'll see in this chapter. Mainly why, uh, what were their main interest? Main interest was, as I was telling you, a spice. Second interest was the cotton, indigo, then cotton, indigo, then saltpeter, salt peter were used for the making the gun gunpowder uh, tea 
these were the main items for which the British and the French people they were having major interest so we will read about the French and the British rivalry in the trade war in the next class